Based on Texas A&M's 12th man tradition, a new documentary tells the story of the 13th man, the last survivor rescued after the school's bonfire collapse in 1999. The film will be in theaters statewide beginning Friday. Our Jesse DeGriado says the movie's release comes in advance of the tragedy's 20th anniversary, which is on Monday. The bonfire is getting lit now. Texas A&M students took pride in stacking logs that would become the annual bonfire, firing up the rivalry between A&M and UT until 20 years ago. The stack swayed a little bit and then the whole structure went down. A freshman back then, now in a wheelchair, having lost his leg and unable to use his right hand, John Comstock was the last survivor pulled from the pile after seven and a half hours. His story, now part of a documentary marking the 20th anniversary of the tragedy that left 12 students dead and 27 injured. This is one of the most significant news stories in Texas history. I don't think only Aggie should see the movie. Comstock fell 45 feet to the ground, buried alive by fallen logs. I had a log across my waist. Um, one in between my bicep where I had held onto the structure and then one was like literally on top of my head. With only his left arm visible, he waved. And then somebody within the next few seconds ran up and grabbed my hand. But freeing him from the tangle of logs and wires might have caused further collapse, putting others at greater risk. So his weight was excruciating. The worst part? The only way I could describe it would be like a kind of a cold, dark pain and Felt like it was, my arm was dying. It took years, he says, to achieve the independence he now has as a husband and father working for the Texas A&M system. A true Aggie who still goes to the bonfires, now held off campus. And so even to this day, it's one of my favorite traditions. Jesse De Guayado, KSAT 12 News. For the link with the complete listing of where the 13th man will be shown here in San Antonio and the rest of the state, you can check out our website at KSAT.com.